just after MC Oluomo threatened Igbos in Lagos State, telling them to sit at home if they know that they are not going to vote for the APC, Peter Obi has reacted. He has a message for the Igbo people living outside the southeastern part of Nigeria. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you have subscribed to this channel, please and please subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new view. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that this video gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. I love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Wow! Peter Obi sends important message to Igbos that were being attacked in Lagos. See what Obi wants from them. Peter Obi, the Labour Party's candidate for president in the February 25 election, has issued an important message to Igbos who are being attacked in areas outside the southeast. Obi, in his message, urged his fellow brothers and sisters to engage in peace and harmony without causing fights or war through tribalism. Obi denounced attacks on innocent traders, especially those from the southeast in Lagos and other regions of the southwest because of their political beliefs. Obi also referred to March 18, the date of elections for governor and state assembly, as a new day and an opportunity to give birth to a new Nigerian. He urged Nigerians, in particular his followers, to turn out in large numbers and vote in the upcoming elections on Saturday with the same fierce determination and passion they demonstrated during the presidential campaign. Obi in a statement said, it is time to put in place a government that we will all participate in forming, that will be accountable and deeply committed to a new Nigeria. A Nigeria that is inclusive and sustainably growing for the benefit of all. That is the kind of government we want across all states of Nigeria. Over these years, you will agree that every time the possibility of progress and a new Nigeria has arisen, the forces of retrogression have attacked it with weapons of division, violence and prejudice. The same thing is happening now. We must all in unity say no and totally condemn those that are invoking tribal prejudice, hatred and violence killing and attacking people, burning markets and properties, suppressing people from a section of a country must stop and should not define our politics. We continue to pray for our brothers and sisters that lost their lives in this struggle and for those that were attacked and injured. May God heal and strengthen you all. Our security agencies must ensure that the perpetrators face the law and that all Nigerians are fully protected irrespective of their political affiliations. Like in other states, in Lagos for instance, Nigerians of all tribes, religion, culture and background voted for Labour Party and other parties their desire to repeat these, their fundamental rights on Saturday 18th March, must be respected and protected. The new Nigeria we are pursuing and desire is not based on tribe, religion, culture or class. It is based on a nation that is inclusive and works for all. For those that did not vote for us, at the presidential election, I say to you, we bear you no grudge. We are fighting for you so that we will end our children and use a country and banner without stain, 
where justice and peace, love and prosperity will reign. Join us as we are one family, a family of a new Nigeria that is possible. At least this is someone saying to other people that did not vote for them that we have no grudge against you. Unlike MC Oluomo who said that if you are not going to vote for us, stay at home. Don't come and exercise your human rights because you are not going to vote for us. Because of course you are going to get attacked if you are not voting for us. Like, <laughs> there is, I cannot even compare the both of them in short. Let me not even compare the both of them because one is educated and the other is not. Like one has brains and the other one's does and the other one doesn't. That's just the obvious truth. It will be, I know, I understand what, I see, I respect this man, hands down. Like, when you're talk, I give it to him. Like, I doff my heart for this, for this man. Why? Because if it were to be some other person, you know, they would, they would say, oh yeah, we no go agree, oh, we no go agree. We no go agree, oh, we no go agree. That is what you'll be hearing from them. They will be fanning the flames of war. That is exactly what they will be doing. And for the first time, Igbo people are not... <laughs> they are not soft people, I'm telling you. And for the first time, these people have not reciprocated. I, I must commend. And I think that this comes from, you know, their leader. And he has always said that he's going to go to the courts. He's going to leave it up to the courts. He knows that people do not, you know, trust the judicial system in Nigeria. But for once, he's going to leave it to the courts. He's going to lose in court and not on the streets. He doesn't want people to come out and start fighting. He doesn't, he, he doesn't want to start calling for protest and be saying, oh, oh, you people should come out and protest. Let's fight. Because if he did say so, People are sure going to come out to fight. I'm telling you, if he says, if Peter will be come out today to say, oh, I am, we no go agree, oh, we no go agree. This is an injustice to one, an injustice to all. Let's go out and, you know, make our griefs known to the government. People will tell, take to the streets. I am surprised, I've said it countless times on this channel, that people are not even out on the streets causing trouble, wrecking havoc. And I feel that, you know, most of it comes from Peter Obi because he hasn't said anything neg negative since the announcement of the result. He has kept his cool. He has said that he's going to leave it up to the court, you know, to fight his battles at the court. And I so much respect him for that. If not, Nigeria would be a war zone by now, or like that one that I don't, <laughs> I do not even want to use an insultive word. I'm trying so hard, you know saying that people should not come out to vote because you know that you are going to lose. The thing is, this man is just, he's fighting for his own interest because he knows how much he's going to lose when another political party takes over in Lagos State. That is why he's doing this much. Because naturally, if you don't have anything to lose, I don't think you would be going all out like this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section, guys. You guys know I don't know much. I'm just keeping it real. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you do so. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.